issue today? Yeah, no, it's that, uh, you know, first of all, I love how, how we honored our military here to start our game on Sundays. Really cool. Um, really grateful for our freedoms because of that. Um, yeah, I'm right off the bat, just great at bats. You know, we, we uh, don't want to take for granted bogeys on such a great job from that leadoff spot. And again, sets a tone, has a lot of great at bats today. You know, clearly got production from the whole lineup. Every guy in the lineup at least had one knock. Um, just good at bats throughout. And I love the fact that bats were just, you know, started out good, but just relentless. Really spoke to the whole series. Exactly what we talk about, how we want to approach things offensively. A lot of good situational hitting. We love the big one, big blows with Campy and, and Kimmy. Um, but man, just a lot of good team, relentless at bats. Um, we a lot of good stuff offensively. Five runs to end last night's game. Are you a believer at all that there can be some momentum that carries over? Is there any importance of that? Um, I do think there's things that carry over, but I think the thing that carries over the most is the consistency of the quality of the bat. If we are always going to compete and you know take everything that we can and every situation is a situation, not give anything away, you're going to keep momentum longer, and that's how you put together seasons individually. And, and a good team does that, you know, puts together a good season as a team collectively. Michael King, obviously, seven walks, not ideal, but he kept runs off the board. Your thoughts on his outing and also the piggyback job by Avila after him? Yeah, so Michael, um, you know, he dodged a lot of traffic, some of which he created. Um, you know, he'll clearly be better next time. But I appreciate the competitive spirit of being able to bear down and outside of Estrada's swing, be able to leave after four innings with, um, you know, with no other runs. So just didn't get ahead, but made pitches when he had to. Again, he got out some. Um, just ran up some deep counts and kind of cost him an inning or two. So you mentioned Pedro. I mean, Avila, was, that was fantastic. That was much needed. Um, you know, three innings was huge to be able to, you know, keep some guys out of the game. You know, we've been going to the bullpen, you know, fairly frequently um, and rightfully. Um, but he did a nice job. And, of course, Matsui and good to see Peralta bring it home. Mike, you've had a couple games now where your offense has looked kind of like what we thought it would look like last year. Is there something to be said for finding it early, lending itself to sustaining that as the year goes along, as opposed to searching for it like the team did last year? Yeah, I mean, I feel really confident that we established our team offensive identity. And I say we, I mean, obviously we hired Victor Rodriguez, and that was a part of it. And, but, you know, the reality is was there was a partnership with our players about what what this team's going to be about, what the identity of the offense is going to be about, you know, including the including the base running side of it, you know, how we're going to be an offensive machine. And so that con those conversations took place prior to spring training. But we can talk about anything. It's really ultimately about, you know, putting the words into action. And the group's been very intentional, the group being the players leading the charge of how they work. And, you know, we mentioned about the scans question, you know, relative to every situation, being a situation, not taking it a bat off, well, that goes into your pregame work too, and these guys' pregame work has been relentless. Their at bats and how they go about their BP, their cage work, they go about it in the right manner. So, when you normalize your habits in a productive manner, you're going to have more consistencies with your play, and so that's what we've done offensively. What can having Luis Campisano continue what he did at the end of last year do for the lineup when he's hitting like that at the bottom? Yeah, it's absolutely important. I mean, you know, getting production, which we have, you know first six game of the season we've gotten production out of the bottom of the order and helps turn that order up it's been important um but i love campy's at bats even the last at bat you know didn't try to do too much just took what the game gave him um you know and drove the ball to right field hits the ball bullet to left um just takes good at bats he's a good hitter good player so you know him being able to give that contribution among others at the bottom of the order is you know really important for us well i don't think i ever found a rhythm so uh i uh yeah i mean i, I was searching mechanically um, out there and really thankful that we, we put up a lot of runs. So, no, I mean, it wasn't that they got me out of my rhythm because, like I said, I never got in rhythm. So it's uh, good that we put up 12 runs because uh, yeah, I was lucky to get out of there with only two. Obviously, with a lead like that, you want to be up 0-1 on everybody, and I just could not throw a first pitch strike. And then I was trying to get more rotational because I felt too linear, and then I tried to get to more linear because I felt too rotational. And then I was just like, all right, just throw a strike. And then mentally I was all messed up. So happy to only let up two there. But uh, it really just happy that we put up 12. Great offensive production today from Luis Camposano offensively. What's it like working with him behind the plate and building that rapport? 
it's been great all throughout spring and obviously this first one um we have awesome com communication between innings and uh, i love being on the same page as i'm uh, getting on the same page with them in between innings like that and then yeah seeing him put up a three on pump in the first is, is always great um and uh yeah he's fun to work with